Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat and we're out at a project in Dalkeith in Western Australia and really often we get asked, what does a geothermal system sound like? So I thought I would um, show you or let you listen to this. So at the moment the heat pump isn't running. You might hear some of the pumps running a, a little bit. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna, the microphone's gonna pick it up. And sometimes you might hear a valve move, but the heat pump itself isn't running yet. So I'm just gonna tell it to start running. So I've just changed the setting to um, lower the tank cooling temperature and that's now telling it to come on. So it's changing a few valves and uh, getting ready to turn on. Um, there are actually some delays built in that we build in so to make sure that the heat pump's always safe. So for example, when I switched it, some of the valves um, which determine where the water flows to started moving. And the first thing it will do is we'll turn the heat, uh, sorry, not the heat, the bore pump on because we've got an open loop system here. And so what you can hear now is you can hear a little bit of um, water turbulence where the bore pump is, oh, some of the pumps are on and the valves are shifting position. And so while it's shifting, there's a little bit of turbulence, but you can hear that going away now. And we've got water flowing from the, the ground, the groundwater flowing through the heat exchanger and that's ready to go. So as soon as the heat pump turns on, it can start exchanging energy. What you don't want is it to do the work the other way, which is the heat pump starts and then the bore pump starts or the ground connection starts. And then um, what can happen is the heat pump can cut out because it'll like uh, trigger a safety limit or something like that. Where it's thinking, okay, I'm running, but I'm not getting rid of the energy I, I wanna get rid of. And so it cuts off as a safety measure. So if you delay the um, start of the heat pump, then it actually uh, makes sure that the heat pump is always gonna work well. Now, you probably can't hear it because I can only just hear it, but the heat pump just turned on and it's running. Uh, it's, it will be running at probably, say, 10 to 15% capacity right now. So that's an, another thing that we do with our systems is we make them ramp up slowly and then ramp down slowly at an appropriate rate too so that it's not just doing these wild swings up and down. We have our control system which uh, analyzes all of the, uh, um, say, the data of the temperatures, the temperature outside, temperatures inside, what the temperature of the tanks are, the flow temperatures, what temperature does the air conditioning want, the floor cooling or the heating or the radiators pool, etc. And it takes all of this information and then starts making clever decisions about how best to operate. So. It's gonna run in this, uh, say like 10 to 15% capacity to start off with um, for let's say 15 to 20 minutes. And then it'll ramp up to gear two, gear three, gear four. But even if we waited here all of this time, you would find that the noise doesn't really change. And the reason behind that is a few heat pump manufacturers, not all of them, do a really good job of acoustically insulating the, uh, the casing of the heat pump. So if I was to take the casing off, which, geez, actually, I wish I um, thought of that, I might try it. We'll try it and we'll see if it works. But you'll be able to hear, it sounds like a compressor, it sounds like a machine, but right now you can't hear anything. But even if it's, as it ramps up, because the acoustic insulation is so good, sorry, a bit unprofessional on me, but I really wanted to see, show you guys, or let you listen to what it sounds like. So if you're getting close, you can hear the compressor running, the, the, the sort of motor sound, you know, that's the compressor like brrr. And I can just hear it's actually starting to slowly ramp up. But as soon as I close the case, the sound is gone. So it's actually really important that you select the right equipment. And it's not only the equipment, it's um, the rest of the system because as you heard before some, you can get turbulence in pipes you can have noisy pumps um, and so some people may uh, unfortunately provide these noisy components because they're either inexperienced or they're trying to save money 
um, I would suggest to you that it's not worth it. Um, spend a little bit extra to make it a nice, smooth, silent system and uh, then you enjoy the benefits for 20 to 25 years. So if you would like help with a silent and automatic and efficient geothermal heating and cooling system, um, please do give us a call at Euroheat. We can help you uh, pretty much all over Australia actually. Um, so uh, please do find our details uh, at euroheat.com.au and get in touch.